What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey! Right now, we're episode three of Daryl Dixon. <laughs> hey! Um, last episode, we got uh, Isabel's backstory, uh, what she was doing before, when the fall of the apocalypse came. And she wasn't no nine. She was wild enough. Matter of fact, I don't think she was ordained. They just gave her the little... <laughs> they just gave her the little get-up. Right. Say, here, you need to put this on, since she done brought the baby up in here. We found out she's been taking care of her nephew. Oh my God, that was a sad story with her mm -hmm. sister, though. Yep, her sister died during childbirth. And turned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, you ready? I felt like it was like Andrea part, like when she was oh, yeah. all over her sister. I was like, girl, you're about to get bit. Right. <laughs> sure this is the place? Contact here as a musician. Why don't you come here? Voice, <laughs> Pierre. Hold up. <laughs> That's coming about the radio. I'm glad. Where's the translation at? I speak. Please, come. No, thank you. You look like you eat people. <laughs> <laughs> you look, you're looking suspect, y'all. <laughs> you fired up? Getting going? Going? Yeah. Oh, no. Prima Flor. Do you like a show? Mm. No! Mm. What the fuck? What the hell is he talking about? Hey, that man is kooky. He been in there by himself for years. You see his hair? He got zombies up. He got walkers up there. They are sure. Panther. They the band. He got them looking like Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <gasps> I was just playing. <laughs> this Joker is. He's crazy. about to get loose. What is the one down there with the umbrella on the bed? Y'all need to go inside. Crap. Girl, don't speak. No, 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 no. Uh, use a knife. A bat or something. Oh, he's handcuffed. You did it your way. Now we're gonna do it mine. We're going to Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the music. Oh! Oh, y'all want to walk now, do you? I'm gonna right. yeah. You made it. Welcome home. I'm full safe. Uh oh. They think he's no. secure. Mm -hmm. Like all of us. Can I get a radio though? Right. Home sweet home. We take turns to the daily task. Uh, uh, so you got the tip knocked off of The military helicopter crashed into it at the beginning. Mm. Wow. When the winds blow, the metal grows. Wow. It must be magical to stand under it and look up at the sky. How about that radio? Uh, <laughs> hey, voila. There was on a mission. Wait, hey, I'm trying to get home. Okay, listen. Bonjour. How comes the guy? Bonjour. 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 this method of communication. It's very effective. Uh, the pigeon. Super efficace, monsieur. The pigeon voyageur. Uh -uh. We call them uh, homing pigeons. Oh, Quand yeah. à distance, oh, quoi qu'il arrive, uh, ils reviennent toujours à la maison. Homing pigeons. Uh, they always find their way... Um, uh, comment on dit? Uh, their, their way home. Uh -huh. Wait, no, pigeons. Really? Yeah. Could be a month. A month. Well, then that still take you the rest of the way, right? For the last part of the trip, yes. Then my job's done. Because that ain't gonna work at all. <laughs> you don't have a radio. How are you gonna help me? There are people trading all kinds of things here. I can take you to them. We need currency. Even information is a commodity. Dang. I'm about to steal something, oh well. You won't have to. I think I know where to find something. We'll go in the morning. Namaste. It's kind of a lot to put on a kid, don't you think? 
God chooses our burdens. Am I about to cry? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to well up. Her husband died a few days ago. Mm. She refuses any food or comfort. No one's been able to console her. Stéphane Colon. Who can maybe tell us something? What a baby! No, don't show him everything. Mm. <laughs> wow. But there are those who are having a fête here. It's not fresh. Oh, boat first. Hey, don't get far, huh? Okay, tout va bien. Bon, let's go. Hey, hey, hey! Dis à ton gars de se calmer s'il veut pas entrer. Ça va, toi. Tu restes tranquille. Oh, Chill out on this. The problem, man. Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. Wow. Sorry, Mr. Queen. You know the rules, but not. Uh oh. Oh! 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 That he stole her car? Mm -hmm. I mean, that she stole his car? Mm -hmm. It's strange to see you again after all these years. Uh-oh. You sing very well. Oh. Thank you. Are those your parents? 
I like a necklace. Someday, I'll see the Eiffel Tower myself. Yeah. So can, can I have this? The lady gave me her necklace. What lady? The singer. Hello, lad. Is he yours? It's not. It's Lily's boy. Lily's boy? Mm-hmm. What do you want? You got your mother's eyes. No. Girl, you was dancing. Right. So how have you been? Is he? I became a nun. <laughs> Is it serious? Mm -hmm. She's not sick. No, he died. Having the baby. I'm sorry to hear that. I am. Um... Yeah, whatever. You still should have told me. That my sister died. And I had a son. <gasps> Mm. What are you talking about? A boy should know his dad. Wow. Jenny. You killed her. And I saved you. It wasn't found you. Bleeding in the bathtub. Hmm? Picked you up, carried you to the hospital, nursed you back to health. That was me. I don't wasn't talk it? about this. I am here. What's about? To help my friend get home. No. No. What's the time? Yes, I can do this. Boy. No, fuck him. It's okay. I don't need a boat to spare. Come on. Look, we all got shit from our past that we're trying to run from, not just you. I was wrong earlier. We're not the same, you and I. Uh oh. You'd be pissing me all you want. I'm not the one you're really mad at, though. Well, you wanted to come to Paris, didn't you? That's why we're here. Uh oh, watch out. I'm trying to help you keep your promise. Uh -oh. That's all you care about, isn't it? Uh oh. Wow. I asked for your help because I needed it. I don't need a hero. I never did. Do you know what this bottle Oh! Wow! How? Right! Girls, you lip syncing? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Dang! They shut the whole party down? But how you come to the right place? Where else did that happen at? That right. pissed me off. It's everywhere. Oh, this is. You don't need me here anymore. You got all these people looking after you. You're gonna be fine. You'll be such as you got. Make something up. Yeah. Oh. You're really good at that. I didn't tell him about his best because everything about it was horrible. What are you gonna tell him about Quinn? Hmm? Because you need to stop lying to him. He deserves to know who he is. Then he can make up his own mind. He just don't accept how special he is. Right, he's a gift from God, right? Or maybe he's just a regular kid. No, you need a to tell him. A regular kid that got lucky and lived. Oh. Maybe that's your miracle. Wow. Who did this? Who did it? How you just gonna come out your sleep like that? <laughs> wow. Don't come in there trash and everything. You see him. Go get him, little trash place. Clubbing. Yeah, we went clubbing. I'm, I'm just amazed that they got all this power over there. You know, they can almost, to me, you should be able to get back to normal if you got power like that. Unless it's running off of generators or something like in Dead City. Um, well, we get another piece of the puzzle. 
uh, Quinn, the guy that Isabel stole his uh, bins, is He's the, the baby, baby pappy. pappy. He's the pappy. He's the pappy. I'm the pappy. <laughs> pappy. <laughs> but she didn't know. I mean, come because on. she didn't even know that her sister was pregnant. She was like seven months. He said it was a mistake. So your penis actually. <laughs> hey, that's what happens. And you two pumps and a squeeze. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So go ahead. You know, Daryl got her to Paris, um, trying to help him find a, a way back to America. Uh, let me come across a group. Uh, that tries to help him out, takes him to the club. That's where we run into Quinn. I uh, didn't know that was his name. Uh, yeah. And Cole Drawn, I think that's his name. Who? The mercenary. His name is Stefan. Stefan Codron. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so Stefan. <laughs> yeah, that part. Okay, just like in Dead City, when the dog on Marshall was yeah, right up. exactly where uh, they were yeah. in Manhattan, of all places, a huge dog on place. You talking about a department store? Or when Wherever he just found out? He, oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. just popped up in the same spot they were. I'm like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. And here, in big old Paris, in a basement, he pop up <laughs> trying to find Daryl. Because he's, um, he's working for the lady that Daryl escaped from. Yes. So he's going to bring Daryl back to her. I think, they think that's his plan. Yeah, so... Here we are, Laurent, Laurent ran away because he overheard Daryl and Isabel. He hates them both. <laughs> Kids always running away. Gets on my dog on nerves. Kids always hating parents <laughs> and, and adults. Right. Because they can't get their way. Now Daryl done fell through a roof. And I hope he's not in a room full of walkers. You know he will be. Yeah. As long as they're not burners. And his leg gonna be hurt, so. Even more. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know if he has his knife anymore. Why you just, why are you putting it on him like that? No, he's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be perfectly fine. Yes, he went through a roof. No problem. He's gonna land into a land of puppies. Right. I, don't, I don't know. But the thing is, Isabel still had her stash of downers, mm. uppers, and all kinds of stuff. Where and stuff was, she jacked from people. Where she was able to trade. Mm -hmm. um, came in handy. Nobody nobody bombarded her apartment. Nobody went. Well, she had it in a, she had it in a good yeah, place. Good place yeah. um, it was hidden. She, she hid it very well. Mm -hmm. However, um, she came across the little girl that she said to stay home. Yeah. Uh, go inside not to stay outside and when they found her the little girl was outside trapped in like weeds or whatever and I think that that hit her hard mm -hmm. um, to see that little girl like that um, then all of a sudden it was like walkers falling out of the, yeah, man. just falling from the building like the windows just literally <laughs> I wouldn't say suicide because they did but um yeah, just dropping, and there were burners, and so they came back. So we did find out that the lady who um, Daryl escaped from, I guess one of her ships, that they are doing tests on the walkers, and I think that's the, the stuff that they're actually giving to the walkers, and he was just like 18 seconds yeah. before the walker exploded. I don't know if it's the same chemical, but from the introduction of Daryl Dixon it looks as if that's what it is because it looks like that they're putting stuff in these walkers for them to be like that they're not just mm -hmm. like that they're done after they're dead because why do it while they're alive they won't be able to handle it <laughs> all right. anyway all right so let's know what you guys thought of that episode yeah we'll see y'all next time oh oh yeah okay love, love you bye Thank you.